Hello and welcome back. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a water reflection with realistic ripple effect. Stay tuned. The first thing we're going to do is to pick our rectangle marquee tool and I'm going to draw uh, a box from the top down and I'm going to right click on my layer and I'm going to create a copy of the selection that I've made. I'm going to press Control T for transform. I'm going to press down my shift and I'm going to drag down the copy that I've just made. Now um, I can either stretch my image beyond the boundary of the canvas or I can keep it to the out to the boundary of the canvas but this time I want to take it out just a little I'm going to double click to deselect the next thing we want to do is to add a blur effect on our bottom image so I'm going to name this as reflection and I'm going to click on our layer, right click and convert to smart object so we can apply different changes to this layer. With my layer selected, I'm going to go to filter, choose blur and then choose motion blur. Now I want to make sure my angle is at 90 and my distance is at 15. I'm going to click OK. Now the next step is to create um, the water ripple effect. To do that, we are going to first of all press control and I'm going to click on my reflection layer to just make a selection of the bottom where the reflection is occurring. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to fill it with black. And I'm going to go to filter. I'm going to choose noise, add noise. And I want to make sure my Gaussian is on and amount is 400. Click OK. And go back to filter, choose blur, blur, Gaussian blur. Make sure your Gaussian blur radius is at 1.3. And we press OK. The next step is to go to our channels and then click on your red channel, go back to filter and then choose stylize and then emboss. We are going to change our angle to 180 and keep our height at 1, amount at 500, click OK. And I'm going to choose my green channel, go back to filter, stylize, emboss. And this time I want my angle to be at 90 and my height at 1. I'm going to click OK. We're going to go back to our layers and I am going to go to Edit and choose Transform and then Perspective. I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to drag the two ends. I'm going to drag it all the way out to get the ripple effect that we want and I'm going to just stretch so we can as you zoom in you can see the ripple effect of the water I'm going to double click to deselect so I'm going to save the noise that we just created I'm going to go to file save as and I'm going to name this as water waves and I'm going to name it as a PSD file click OK I already have that file so I'm just saving over and I click OK and now we don't need this anymore so I'm going to just delete this layer and with our reflection layer selected I'm going to go to filter and then go to distort displacement you want to make sure your horizontal scale is at 10, your vertical scale is at 40, 
stretch to fit is selected and repeat edge pixel is also selected and you press OK and we are going to find the file we just saved and we are just going to select that and it's going to be infused onto our reflection layer and as you can see with just that click we have an amazing reflection water ripple effect the last thing we want to do is to add a line between or define the boundary between our background and where our reflection water begin. So we are going to create a new layer and I'm going to choose my gradient. I'm going to choose my gradient tool and I'm going to make sure that this is checked. I'm going to zoom in and I'm with my shift down, I'm going to just draw a straight line up and all we need to do is go to our blending mode, change our blending mode to soft light. And with that, you can begin to see where our background, where our background begins and where our water also starts. So I'm just going to take the opacity down just a little. And we can still see where it, the, the background ends and where the water reflection begins. I hope you found this tutorial very helpful, guys. Leave me a comment below. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for all future uploads. Please don't forget to subscribe. Share this with all your friends. Hope to see you back. Bye.